Hey Jim, what would you say your top five favorite birds that live in California rice fields and farms? Wow, that's a great question. I I'm gonna need a moment to think about that one. Jim Morris has photographed hundreds of different birds and wildlife species that live in the Sacramento Valley rice fields. He's a communications manager for the California Rice Commission and a portion of his workload is dedicated to such wildlife photography. When it comes to rice birds, he's seen it all, so I'm truly interested in his list of five favorite birds. Aside from his wildlife photography, he also interviews the biggest animals that live in rice fields, us growers. Just finished planting our last field of rice. And each one produces a kernel of rice. This is organic short grain. This year was uh, a lot of work. The interviews provide an update on the progress of the rice crop. Today, we're shooting one such interview, all in the name of representing the California rice industry and educating the general public. Okay. I've come up with my first. This is one of my favorite birds, it's the snow goose. Love the snow geese. It isn't fall and winter without seeing snow geese in rice fields and around the refuges. The cacophony of sound. And when you see thousands of them in the air, there's nothing like it. Awesome, okay. Let's um, set up for the shoot. Want me to just walk into frame and check it? Just B-roll and then I'll have you talk over it. Done, good. So, um, is there another angle I can get from here? If you just brought the camera closer to here, we could get that close up. Cool, cool. Okay, Jim, so what's number two? Number two, the black neck stilt. They're a great shorebird. I love the black and white color. They're very protective parents. And when you see them in a field and they're walking along and it looks like their knee that you're seeing, it's actually their ankle, which is really cool. Their knee is much closer up in the body near the feathers. All right, just tell me what you're doing this morning and why you're doing it. Okay. Anytime. Oh, okay, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> this morning I'm checking our stakes. Our stakes have watermarks on them, one inch increments that give us readings as to how much water is in our rice field. So I just want to get a photo of you doing the same thing, kind of looking at it, because I don't have a photo yet. Okay, but time out, Jim, because no. I want to ask you what the third bird is. Oh, okay, headphones and all that off. My third bird is the American white pelican. Oh, these birds are awesome. Can you believe a nine foot wingspan? And when you see them coming, when I'm heading up to them on a shoot and I see them in rice fields, they're just amazing. And a lot of the growers in the valley, it's funny, they have me on speed dial. If they see pelicans in a rice field, they know that they need to call me because I'm gonna be out there stat. Nice. Okay, so now we need a, a still image, you say? Yeah. Okay. Come in from the other side? This side? You ready? Yes. That's it? Yeah. Nice, man. It's a wrap. Take the rest of the day Still off. Still photos, yeah. <laughs> Except, what's the next bird? What are we on? Number four? Four, okay. Fourth bird. Let me just move the camera here. Okay. My fourth bird is the American bittern. I love how they try to hide in a rice field. And you can, you can definitely see them if you know what you're looking for. And I had a great opportunity earlier this year to see a bittern in breeding plumage. And they have a crazy vocalization. It sounds kind of like a water cooler. And normally you just hear it, but don't see the bird. I was able to see the bird doing these vocalizations and it was just amazing. Awesome. What's next? Number five. Oh, number five. So are we done with our shoot with yeah. the, for the California Rice Commission? Yeah. This morning I'm checking the water level of our rice fields. We do this on a daily basis to ensure that we're only using the amount of water of which the crop needs. We have these stakes that help us out. They have one inch increments on them that will show us the level of the rice field. Okay, so I guess, man, just go right into number five. Number five is the sandhill crane. Fall and winter seeing the sandhill cranes, it's just amazing. It's like a kid in a bounce house. They're jumping around the rice field. They're playing with a rice straw. They have this unbelievable trill. <laughs> They're so happy. How can you not see them and be happy too? Awesome, okay. One thing we need, just want to get the opening shot for the title sequence. Yeah. And that's just gonna be the drone flying right past us. Yeah. 
Let's go. So this is how I get the wildlife shots and video without disturbing the wildlife that we love so much. I have this here that gives a nice flat surface and then I'll put my camera right on top and then so I can shoot the photos or video of the birds without ever getting out of my vehicle. Probably close out the episode of Rice Farming TV. Like right here, I just want to say thanks, man. If you're interested in seeing more wildlife photos, check out the California Rice Commission social media on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter. Flickr, website. And we post every day, so thousands of photos and videos of wildlife and the biggest animals in rice fields, too. <laughs> <laughs> Raw. <laughs> I'll leave all those links down in the description, guys, so you can check it out. Pleasure, Matthew. Take care, man.